we present our work on a semantic point cloud filter for support surface learning. For ground robots, it is crucial to understand the support surface of the environment. However, within natural environments, the sense geometry by LIDAR or depth sensors does not align with the actual support surface. This limits the performance of downstream modules such as planning or locomotion. To overcome this, we train a neural network that modifies the raw point cloud in a way that it aligns with the underlying support surface, using additional RGB images as an input. We label the training data for the neural network in a self-supervised manner by fitting a Gaussian process on the past footholds of the robot. The reconstructed surface is used as the ground truth of the support surface. We then project it into the camera frame to generate the label for depth estimation. We split the task of estimating the support surface into two components, on the one hand, a segmentation problem distinguishing between rigid and non-rigid parts of the environment. On the other hand a regression problem predicting the correct support surface depth. To leverage the advantages achieved within monocular depth estimation and allow to connect image features to the point cloud, we project the raw point cloud onto the image plane. The final prediction is the combination of the raw point cloud and the depth estimation selected by the binary segmentation mask. The prediction can be reprojected to 3D space for downstream applications. We feed our filtered point cloud and the raw point cloud to the elevation map and traversability estimation. The geometry shows the elevation map and the color indicates the traversability. Our method filters high grass, resulting in a smoother elevation map. Within the paper, we show that our method achieves 48% better on root mean square error compared to the baseline. The elevation map and traversability estimation built from our semantic point cloud filter can empower more outdoor environment applications, such as locomotion and navigation tasks. For now, our models is still trained with a hand-labeled dataset for semantic segmentation. It is promising to use zero-shot method like, segment anything, to improve the efficiency of data collection.